Today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to add WhatsApp and Pocket share buttons on your website. The, this, these buttons are very useful for your website so people can click on them and share your article or your website for, to their favorite social media platforms. Now you've all seen Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn buttons all over the web, but recently many websites have started to use the WhatsApp and the Pocket buttons. So, you know, let's talk about how we can implement these buttons on your website. If you don't know what WhatsApp is, WhatsApp is a program, it's like a messaging program that was bought by Facebook for like $19 billion. Um, it's very popular internationally, um, but people in the United States also use it to share uh, like as a text message program. So imagine you have a button on your website, when the person clicks on it, it automatically prefills the message in their messaging program so they can it'll make it easier for them to send it to their friends. So to start, we just need to do a standard anchor tag. Now the UHR, href property of the anchor tag needs to be something special. So the base tag should be something like this. This tells the WhatsApp, um, when you open this link in, on your mobile and you have the WhatsApp app installed on your phone, it will open up the WhatsApp app and then with these parameters after it. The text parameter is what the text you, you want to prefill on your message when somebody clicks on them. So in my case, it's basically a text of my article and the title. And now you notice these data um, category and all these data attributes. I'll talk about it later today. Um, for now, it's symbol anchor tag. So if you look at the output, it's a standard link. So remember, there's something really important is that this property, this query parameter for text, this here needs to be the URL encoded version of the text. So it can be um, determined by the browser to be a proper link. You can use this website to do a URL encode or decode a text. So let's say I have a text here. You can encode it, right? It converts the space to the percent twenty sign. Or you can decode something. So this is very useful if you want to do it. Uh, you can also use the JavaScript function URL I mean, encode URI components. So this function here from JavaScript, you can use it to do the same thing basically. And now let's talk about the pocket button. Pocket button. Pocket is a uh, website where you can use to bookmark articles, videos, or any media into your own personal bookmark central. So when, imagine you can have a button on your website. When somebody clicks on it, it adds it to their bookmark, and then they can access it anywhere from any device. So it's very useful. Um, it's the idea for implementing the pocket button is the same thing. You basically have an anchor tag. Um, the URL is actually a standard URL, getpocket.com slash save, question mark URL equals something. Now Pocket takes two parameters in the query param. One is the URL, which is the URL of your article, and then the other is the title. So make sure these are all URL encoded also. And as you can see, I also added these uh, data attributes to the link. So the reason I added these is because we can later track these links uh, with Google Analytics. So when somebody clicks on the share button, you can track exactly what social network they share it on and what URL they shared it. So it's very useful. Um, I'm not going to go into details on how this is implemented, but you can see a, my previous video on how to do that. So I'll link it in the description below. And that is it. This is very simple, and I hope you find this useful and put it on your website.